Well, actually, my wife is quite funny. She turned to me, we went to see it yesterday, and she wanted to turn to me to whisper in my ear that I remind her of Wade and how much that yes. I cry at stuff. And when she turned to tell me that I was in the middle of crying. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, but to sort of turn that into my sort of first uh, question, I mean, how important do you think it is in a kind of, a, a film sort of aimed at a kind of younger audience and a kind of impressional kind of young crowd to, to show male characters crying and to kind of show that it's quite normal to be in touch with your emotions? Oh, man, it's, it's... Uh... I, I can't overstate it. I think it's really important. I, I, I remember as a kid, I, I'm still very emotional, and I, I had to re-access um, being able to share that publicly um, as an actor, actually, because I felt so ashamed of it as a, as a child. And, it's, and that in itself is a shame, you know, just, just to be able to feel... I don't think one should feel ashamed of being able to express themselves. If you see something beautiful, like Wade says something, I've, been, I've never been punched in the face of beauty before. It's like one of my favorite lines because it's just like, it is something to be celebrated and just be moved by. And there's no shame in that. It's actually really beautiful. It's, it's important for one's development to mm. really understand how to connect with other people, to like share empathetic responses, and just, just to be a person, be a fully fledged person. Because I, mean, yeah, I think this, it was the scene when Wade's trying to... The crying game at Wade's house. Yeah, where that, that, that's the scene, that, scene. That, got, that got me. But yeah. is there any scenes in films that always make you cry that or your sort of go-to? Oh, when the house is falling apart in eternal sunshine of the spotless mind and both of the characters are like, we tried our best. Really I really hate when really sometimes scene. people try their best and it's still really difficult. Oof, don't get it so... You're, hey, man, you're... <laughs> those, those are the questions. Um, I really... Oh, there's man. this anime that I love so much. It's called Your Name. Mm. Oh, I love that film. Isn't mm. it beautiful? Yeah. And they're so on the canyon, weird. and he's right... Man. No, 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 keep going. <sighs> keep going. I don't want to ruin this. Don't spoil it for me. I haven't I get, seen I it yet. I get a five pound bonus every time someone cries in an interview. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like he's writing his name. He's writing his name on the on the on her hand, and then. For, and then what? And then what? Forget it. But you gotta yeah. watch. The movie. You gotta watch the film. You gotta watch the movie. You gotta watch. Y'all hey, are rude. You guys gotta watch that movie. You are missing out if you ever watch. And that. then what? The one that always gets me is actually it's another Pixar. You know, Inside Out. When have Bing you seen Bong? it? When Bing Bong sacrifices the, his memory, the memory of him to save Riley and says, "Go, was it say, go, go to, to the moon?" She's been. That's she's been. That's one of her. That kills me. Like giving up something to gain. All right, okay. you don't get five pounds. <laughs> Um, there is a great chemistry between Ember and Wade. Obviously, you know it's a kind of the romance is such a core part to this. What is this hard pivot? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm still kind of oh, crying. I know. So <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> Steamy eyed over here. But, but I was wondering about. I mean, there is a great chemistry between uh, even as you know vocal performances. I wonder how is that harder to achieve in a booth? And were you able to shoot or, or, or do this together in, in person? No, you gotta ask Pete. Pete, no. Pete made that happen. <laughs> yeah, because we weren't in the booth together at all. Yeah. But it like, Peter had such a clear vision for how he wanted our characters to be, also knowing that we resonated so deeply with our characters. Mm -hmm. So it really was him kind of gently puppeteering us into kind of creating these motions that kind of already existed. It's weird, and I'm, Peter is also a really accomplished voice actor himself. So when he played like Mock Wade for me and Mock Bernie and then Mock Ember for him, it... I really don't know what it would have like been with Mama Do. I'm sure amazing, but it was also really good with Pete too. Mm. Is it quite cool then seeing it back and having that? Because I guess you, I mean, do you almost see it like we do when you watch it for the first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yes. actually, 100. percent I, I was like, wow, this works so well. <laughs> like, you know, it doesn't it? You know, it just it just felt like it. It was like we were all we were doing it, not even just in the room together. Mm -hmm. It felt like really alive. Yeah. I mean, other than the kind of romance, another kind of key story is obviously Ember wanting to, to do her own thing, to be creative. Uh, when sort of the father obviously has kind of other ideas, perhaps of what her future could could be. As two people who did follow your kind of heart, creative. I wonder, if it was growing up, did you ever have any pushback from maybe teachers or parents that because obviously the creative industry can be quite volatile, can be quite uncertain. Yeah. Was there? Did you ever have to contend with? Kind of having to to stay true to what you wanted to do and was it quite a challenge for you as, as kids mm, you know it's funny my parents even though i gave them very little reason to be supportive of this they were like beyond like hyper supportive um there were teachers that i had that weren't like not, not like my my well i had a high school teacher eric pavlet thanks man um who was very supportive 
Um, and then I went to acting school and there were people that, there was actually one acting teacher who tried to dissuade me from being an actor. And I was like, that's not nice. That's really and, nice. <laughs> but I didn't care because I had such, you know, people in my life that really supported me. And I was like, this is this guy is not going to be the one to tell me. If somebody's going to make me not be an actor, it's not going to be you, sir. So, you know, he just kept going. Mm -hmm. I mean, my parents kind of took a similar route as well. Like, from a really early age, they actually believed me at six mm -hmm. years old when I was like, I want to be an actress. And, you know, we got a lot of guff from our hometown community about how wild that is. And I think even when I was in school, like, because I was really focusing on wanting to be an actress, like, you know, I did different methods like homeschool or I'd move mm -hmm. to different schools when I would go to Los Angeles with my parents for auditions. Oh. And I had so many people be like, this is not stable. Like, you have no idea if you can even have a future in this. But my parents and I were like, um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> but there were a lot of times when, you know, even in school, I would look at people taping, taking different routes and, you know, I didn't go to college, but there was always this part of me that was like, well, what if the scholastic life and just the scholastic life or something that is safe and secure is so much better for me? And even this industry and just anything with creativity, like those jobs can be very difficult. So there were many times that I didn't even need people around me to be like, you know, you can't do that. There were some times when I even questioned, like, mm. can I? But just because something is hard doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing it. So I actually, you know, my support group, my family, they actually really helped me raise the bar for my own self, too. <laughs> well, you're both doing incredibly well. I hope that acting teacher watches this and goes, ah. Oh, <laughs> well, you, you Facebook requested me after, like, things started going on, and I was like, no, thanks. I see you. <laughs> no, thank you. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the time. So much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the laughs. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. Hey you guys. Hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey.